So let me go ahead and show you uh, what the, the end result uh, would look like. I'll just remove my picture here and when I hover over this, you can see the pop-up appears. This is just a pop-up um, I made for the purpose of this video. Uh, you can style it uh, your own way, of course. This pop-up is uh, actually sticky, uh, but at the end of the video, I will also show you how to build a pop-up which disappears after you remove the mouse from the hover button. All right, so I will now show you and walk you through what we are going to build. Step is to go to your control panel because we are going to create uh, the pop-up. And yeah, this is, you all probably already know how to do this, but uh, I will just show you just in case. It's really easy with this Elementor page builder. So this is the uh, pop-up that I just show you. We will click add new and just uh, hover up up to all right and i will just choose a template the, the one i showed you before was this one so all right so this is the pop-up um, and the only thing you have to do uh, when you are done designing uh, and creating your pop-up is to uh, click publish and then uh, choose the condition you want uh, which which side should this pop-up display on and for me it's just the entire side so uh, next and you don't have to do anything here you just click next and save uh, i will just quick do one thing and this is to remove this overlay so you can see the background now appear all right save The next, next thing is to go to your page where you want the pop-up to show um, and for me it's just the home page here. So you go to the widget set section and uh, search for HTML. This won't be uh, visible for the visitors, it's only you. So uh, in here you pass the code that I will put in the description. Uh, right there. So the only thing you have to do to this code is to change this number because this number is actually your shortcode for your pop-up. And uh, to find your uh, shortcode number, you should go to the uh, control panel and uh, find uh, templates and then pop-ups. And here uh, you can see the short code for the pop-up pop -up we built is 542 and I just copy it and I pass it in here. All right, and then the next step is to choose which element is going to be your, your trigger for the pop-up. So in my case, it's this button. So I will uh, now click on this button and uh, in classes you will have to pass this code to just show pop-up. You can of course change this but then you also have to change it in your um, HTML code. So I go to advanced and uh, in the class I will just put this. Yeah and that's all. Uh, I will uh, hit um, update. All right and let's test it out. And there it is. So I mentioned in the beginning at the, at the video that I would also show you how to um, just let the pop-up disappear after uh, you remove your mouse from the button or the hover trigger element. Uh, so in this case, you will go back uh, in the editing modes and finding the uh, code, HTML code, which is actually JavaScript, but then you will have to uh, replace it with this code. And I will also put this in the description.
all right so i replace it and i will just enter the correct shortcode for the pop-up it was five four two five four two and hit update yeah and if you have more um, uh, pop-ups at the same page you can just uh, use this and enter uh, the other pop-up uh, with a separated comma all right all right so all right let's test it out yeah when I hover the pop-up appears and when I remove uh, the mouse from the trigger, uh, it disappears. So that's really cool, actually. All right, I think uh, that was about it for this video. Um, don't hesitate to uh, write a comment if you have any questions. I will uh, try to answer it as uh, quickly as possible. Thank you.